Season's greetings to all my industry colleagues and partners. I am Dr. Guru Prasad Rao from Imagineer India Private Limited. Today, let us discuss about an agile manufacturing option uh, for this uh, to fight the COVID pandemic, uh, which has brought us in a, a great pause. In fact, all the plans we had for the year got it kind demolished by this pandemic all of a sudden. We see manufacturing has been undergoing a lot of uh, digitization since the birth of computers. We have seen the industrial revolution 1, 2, 3 and we are heading towards industrial uh, revolution 4. We call it industry 4.0. And if we look at the manufacturing processes, we always knew there is a subtractive uh, manufacturing, there is an additive manufacturing and there is a formative uh, process by which we created all things around us. 3D printing is that new order wherein we are making products directly from cat to pot. You know. And in fact, it is giving us a greener manufacturing option because of the less scrap. It takes just the material what is needed. In fact, the world has different connotations of the term 3D printing. For different people, it is different. Some call it as SLA, some call it as SLS, some call it as FDR, and there are many more. So, that brings us to the definition of 3D printing. What is 3D printing? So, 3D printing is a set of technologies, not just one, that make the objects or the items or the products by layer upon layer using digital input data. You know, that data can be from a computer, from a medical image data or it could be from a scan data. You know. Today, this technology is making deep inroads in every possible sectors of industry, such as aerospace, automotive, FMCG packaging, uh, you know, tooling, electronics, white goods, and much more. You know. And what makes 3D printing so important to all these sectors? One thing, we can have part consolidation. You know, you have a number of parts, you can combine them together and get a uh, assembly uh, for uh, a subsystem that is possible. We can go for Jason fixtures, uh, you know, quickly. We can make parts which are very light in weight. We can have any complexity you one can think of. And we can go for the complexity uh, of the parts which are produced just one, you know, made to order, you know, the order quantity just one. And uh, furthermore, uh, 3D printing enables us to make customized products, for example, like medical or like uh, uh, prosthetics uh, we need or any such things where you need customization which is going to drive the product function. So this technology is very good for low volume production but a very complex uh, product nature. Uh, geometry of any kind can be handled by 3D printing while injection molding and all other uh, things like CNC also are good for large scale production. We have uh, cheese leap engine nozzle tip uh, can be taken as a very good example where a part 20 parts were consolidated to one part. It gave something like uh, reliability which is uh, five times more and they could reduce the cost by 30 percent and uh, they could uh, reduce the inventory cost like 95 percent. So I think uh, there are a lot of ample examples why industries should look for 3D printing and today this technology can also help you go for a low volume production using vacuum casting as another uh, you know, enabling uh, process. In future design will lead the manufacturing uh, and uh, you are going to have a, a digital switch in supply chain management that is uh, we are going to have a, a CM becomes a demand chain you know, and more and more uh, digitization will help to have people order online 
you know, using a cloud factory. Today, we have a cloud factory at Imaginarium. You can reach uh, uh, the site and upload your data and get it printed and delivered. So we can see 3D printing is an agile manufacturing option. In this COVID crisis situation, 3D printing has played a pivotal role in accelerating innovation quickly. And I think this uh, goodness of 3D printing will continue to help us to build post-COVID economy too. Thank you.